Migraine headaches can be debilitating, but they're often so bad it really can wreck a person's life. When sufferers finally find relief, it's like getting their life back. Our next guest knows that all too well. Julie Carell joins us along with Dr. Ray Drury from Upper Cervical Health Centers. Dr. Drury, Julie, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, right. uh, Julie, let's start with you. You had hit migraine headaches for a long time. What treatments did you try to find relief? Um, I tried everything. Um, I started out with you know, over-the-counter, went to prescription. Um, prescriptions you kind of build a tolerance to after a while. So after that, um, I had injections actually given to me by doctors, and those worked to help manage the pain, but they were outrageously expensive. And even though I wasn't having the headache, I was in bed for two days from that. Anyway. So this was really affecting your life. I mean, the quality yes, of your yes, life every day. Yes, you yes. said you were having them every day. Yeah, I had a headache every day. A migraine would hard be hard to function. Yeah, very hard, very hard. It was my whole life revolved around managing the pain mm -hmm. of the headache that I was having. And if I got lucky and I had a couple of days of that one, I was just constantly stressed about when the next one would come. You See, wake up and what I, I would think. You'd wake up and think, when yeah. is it going to happen? Yes, right? yes, horrible. Mm -hmm. All right, what happened when you began treatment at Upper Cervical Health Center? Um, I I had results immediately with Dr. Jury, but I don't think I credited that. You know, because sometimes with headaches, you'll go a week where you right. feel pretty good. And mm -hmm. so my first week with him, I was like, okay, this is just a good week. I didn't have any headaches or migraines. Second week, no headaches and migraines. And I thought something's going on here. Third week, I was like, I hadn't gone three weeks without a headache in years. I mean, years and years. So at that point, I was, I was hooked. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds almost magical. How did the adjustments, how did that work? Well, first of all, I know it sounds funny, but people have to realize that the cause of migraines isn't a drug deficiency. So taking medications isn't ever going to fix anything. It's just going to temporarily mask the right. problem. Um, so what we have to do is we have to look at internally for where is this coming from? What's the cause coming from? So the nerve system controls pretty much every function in the body. So what I do as an upper cervical doctor is I focus on the epicenter of the nerve system, which is actually the brain stem area, which is the top two bones in the neck. There are no nerves that come directly off of the brain. Okay? You have 12 cranial nerves that come off of these upper bones in the neck, off the brain stem and the upper bones, and they go back up and innervate the head, face, and neck. Well, when the brain says, I need more blood flow, okay, it sends a message down to the brain stem, comes out these cranial nerves, goes back up into the head, and causes those blood vessels to open up or dilate to increase the blood flow. Well, if those messages get interfered with, then the message never gets there and the blood vessels don't open up like they should. So for one, they can get uh, inflamed, irritated, uh, the brain gets hypoxic, it doesn't get enough oxygen, thus you start to develop the symptoms of a migraine. So we can find that and if we can remove any interference to those normal messages, then they start to normalize and then the blood vessels open up like they should and wow. people like Julie get better. And you feel better. Julie, quickly, in just the few seconds we have left, what do you have to say to skeptics out there who might be listening to something, I don't know, about chiropractic adjustments? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sounds a little weird to me. Absolutely. What do you say? Um, I was a skeptic, and um, I always felt like watching a, a show with someone on there or reading an article of someone who had migraines and they did this treatment and it worked. I just felt like that was never going to be me. If someone's watching that's wondering, I would say your health is more than worth it, and you will never know if it's going to work for you unless you try it. Mm -hmm.